Hi, this is Mori reporting from Berlin and in this video I want to show you how to add some basic zoom functionality to your uh, line charts using React Hooks and D3. So uh, you can see here that I have this very cluttered line chart and I can now just use my mouse wheel to uh, zoom in and uh, zoom out. I can control the min and max uh, zoom level of um, this behavior. Uh, I can also click and hold to navigate through the line chart like this. And the cool thing is that the x-axis will automatically adjust to the current uh, zoom level. So yeah, that's it. Uh, stay tuned. So in this video, we will not be rebuilding this line chart here from scratch, but only add the zoom functionality on top. And uh, if you're not familiar with adding, uh, I mean, creating line charts with D3, I suggest you watch uh, video number two. And uh, the thing that I'm going to teach you here doesn't only apply to line charts, but any chart that uses a linear or continuous scales. And if you don't know what uh, scales are, I suggest you watch uh, video number three. Creating a zoom functionality for bar charts or other charts which uh, don't use linear or continuous scales is definitely possible, but uh, I don't want to focus on that in this video. I will probably do that um, as a follow-up video to this one where I create a zoomable bar chart, for example. So this is my app component and here I store my data in a use data hook, which currently is an array with 50 random uh, numbers, uh, somewhere between 0 and 100. And uh, this data I am then passing uh, to my zoomable line chart down here. And I also have this button, which I forgot to mention, which just adds some more data uh, to my uh, data here in my use data hook. So uh, on to the zoomable line chart component. I now removed the zoom functionality, which we will now be uh, adding uh, line by line. So to give you a very quick tour on what this uh, zoomable line chart component currently does, um, we basically just render this SVG DOM element down here and give it this SVG ref variable using the use ref hook from React. And uh, we then uh, grab the SVG DOM element inside of this use effect hook, which gets triggered after the DOM elements have been rendered. And every time our data or the dimensions, the width and height of our SVG uh, changes. Uh, so yeah, we grab the SVG um, element, we pass it to D3 so that D3 can handle uh, everything that is happening inside of that SVG. And um, then we are setting up our X scale, which transforms the index values in our data array to pixel values on our X axis. Then we have the Y scale, which transforms the uh, actual values in our uh, data array to pixel values on our uh, Y axis. Then we have the line generator, which uh, gets the entire data array and uh, returns the D attribute, the shape and form of a path element, which we uh, yeah, create uh, in this block here. Uh, and here we are just rendering a dot for every value in our data array. And down here we are setting up our uh, X and Y axes using the X and Y scales we defined uh, earlier. So to add the basic zoom functionality that I have shown you earlier, I have to import something from D3 called zoom. And uh, with this zoom function, I can define a special zoom behavior, which I then uh, will apply to the entire uh, SVG element. So let me show you what I mean uh, with that zoom behavior by going down here and adding a block for the zoom behavior. So I will now define our zoom behavior by saying const zoom behavior equals zoom. Uh, and yeah, in classic D3 fashion, you now have this generator function where you configure your zoom behavior and apply it uh, to something else, uh, the SVG element or SVG DOM element in our case. So um, yeah, with the zoom function, we now have to define three different things. And the first thing that we want to define is the scale extent. And the scale extent just defines uh, like how uh, far we can zoom in and out in our um, yeah, SVG. And we want to define it as 0 0.5 uh, to 5. So we can uh, zoom up to five times um, inside our SVG and zoom up to two times outside of our uh, SVG. The 0 0.5 you can see here um, stands for the maximum zoom out 
uh, value and the 5 you can see here stands for the maximum zoom in value. So the current scale is 1 and 0 0.5 means we can um, like zoom out up to 2 times and the 5 means we can zoom in up to uh, 5 times. The next thing that we have to define for our zoom behavior is the so-called translate extent. Uh, which basically limits our uh, zoom behavior when we click and hold uh, the mouse uh, to drag or navigate inside of uh, our line chart. And for now, I am going to, nope, uh, I am just going to say that the extent is going to be from uh, 0, 0, our top left corner of our SVG, to the bottom right corner of our SVG, and that is going to be width and height. So the total width and the total height of our um, SVG. The transit extent is actually a little bit harder to explain currently. I will explain it again later when we um, yeah, add this zoom behavior to our SVG. And yeah, the third thing that we want to add to our zoom behavior is actually the on zoom handler, uh, the place where we want to yeah, handle what actually happens uh, when a zoom event is triggered. And for that, we just say dot on and we say zoom. And here I will just pass in a function which will log out uh, zoomed like this. So um, yeah, this zoom behavior will actually not do anything right now. We, uh, like I said, now we need to apply this uh, zoom behavior to our uh, SVG DOM element. And we now apply this uh, zoom behavior to our SVG or connect this zoom behavior with our SVG by just going down here and saying zoom behavior, which is a function, and passing a selection. And the selection we want to pass is the entire SVG selection itself. And we can actually uh, also write this line like this. We can just say SVG call zoom behavior. So we will call this a zoom behavior function with the current selection, which is uh, the uh, SVG. And if I save that and try to uh, zoom in and out of this SVG, you can see that uh, our on zoom handler is getting triggered, but the zoom uh, doesn't really apply. The reason why nothing is currently happening is because we are actually applying a zoom state to our SVG, but we are not making any use of the current zoom state. So to grab the current zoom state of our SVG, I actually uh, have to make use of another function from D3 called a zoom transform. And uh, yeah, to do that, I will just go down here and say const zoom state equals zoom transform. And uh, as you can see here, the zoom transform function uh, requires a node, uh, a DOM element, uh, the SVG DOM element in our case. And we can just pass it by using the SVG ref variable from earlier, uh, SVG ref current, but we can also say uh, SVG, the selection dot node. And by doing that, we will have the zoom state at our uh, disposal. And I will log that out now to see how that uh, looks like. So if I now try to zoom out and zoom in, you can see that the um, like zoom state is actually an object containing three properties. The K property represents the current like uh, zoom level. And like I said, one stands for the like uh, original state. And the X and Y properties, they represent the like offset the SVG currently should have on the X and the Y axis. And if I try to like uh, zoom in a, a little bit and uh, drag the line chart around, then you can see that the uh, X property, for example, it will uh, change. And uh, these uh, or this zoom state, we now actually have to use to uh, yeah transform our uh, SVG. And the best way to uh, like apply this transformation to our SVG is by actually altering our scales, our X scale, for example. Our scales are kind of like a bottleneck for our entire component. And by altering the domain and the range of our X scales, we can uh, also make this um, transformation visible in our SVG. So we could alter our X scale, for example, right here in this on zoom handler, but uh, we are going to approach that a little bit differently with the help of React. And we're just going to save this uh, zoom state in a use state hook, uh, causing our uh, component to re-render. And when the component re-renders, uh, we want to check up here 
right before the scale uh, is actually getting used, we want to check if there is a zoom state. And if there is a zoom state, we want to adjust our um, X scale accordingly to change the outcome or the elements in our uh, SVG. So let's uh, save that zoom state in a use state by importing use state and uh, defining a new state here, saying const uh, current zoom state and set current zoom state equals use state. And this is going to be empty per default, so there's not going to be a default value. And down here, I want to store that zoom state in the use state hook by saying set current uh, zoom state, uh, zoom state. So uh, that's it for storing the zoom state. Now, when I zoom inside of my SVG, the uh, current zoom state will be stored in this use state hook. And down here, right before our um, X scale is being used, I want to check if uh, the current zoom state uh, is basically defined. And if it is, I want to handle things a little bit differently. And also make sure that uh, this current zoom state is in the dependency array of your uh, use effect hook. Otherwise, uh, the um, like entire code in our use effect hook doesn't uh, get called again. And it needs to be called again every time the zoom state uh, changes. And like I said, we now want to alter our X scale before it is getting used if we do have a current zoom state defined. And uh, current zoom state is actually not only an object containing these three K, X and Y properties, it also comes with its own methods to uh, alter an X scale uh, like we have right here. So the current zoom state doesn't only contain these three values, but also methods like uh, current zoom state rescale x, which will grab the um, transformation on the x axis and apply it to any uh, scale we pass. And we want to pass the x scale here, and this will result in another uh, x scale uh, with the transformation applied to it. So I'm just going to call it um, new x scale and uh, just log the x scale uh, domain and the new x scale domain to compare uh, what I mean. And uh, I'm just going to do that by saying console log x scale domain and console log new x scale uh, domain. So let's see how that looks like. So the domain of my original X scale should be from 0 to 49 because we have 50 elements in our data array. And uh, now let's see what happens if I zoom in heavily. Then you can see the domain of my original X scale is from 0 to 49. And the domain of my new X scale is from 21 to 30. So we should be actually seeing the portion of our line chart from here to here. But the reason why we are still not seeing any change is because we are actually still using the old X scale. This uh, rescale x returns a new um, x scale with a new domain. Uh, so we need to now override the domain of our x scale with the domain of this uh, x scale. So uh, to do that, we have to just say um, x scale domain. So override the domain with the domain of the new x scale. So now let's see uh, what happens then. So if I zoom in now, we finally see some change and uh, like the dragging uh, also works. So with the original X scale, we were mapping the index values from zero to 49 to the range or the pixel values on our uh, X axis. And by altering the domain we have on our X scale, depending on the current zoom state, we are now mapping the index values from 14 to 31 to the available space we have in our SVG. So we're just um, changing the domain of our X scale and that results in a zoomed state of our uh, yeah, line chart. Uh, you can see that uh, we are actually not zooming in, like really zooming in on the dots. We are just like adjusting the X scale, which uh, looks like we are zooming in. So returning to the translate extent I mentioned earlier, um, if I now try to like drag or pan inside of this line chart in this neutral state, 
then nothing will actually happen. But if I adjust the coordinate for the top left corner of this uh, translate extent by saying minus 100, uh, moving it basically to here where my cursor is, then I can actually like drag the um, like line chart 100 pixels to the left. Um, I can also do that on the other side, which I currently cannot do by saying with plus 100 pixels. So that will allow um, uh, me to um, like drag the chart um, like 100 pixels to the left or 100 pixels to the right. And uh, this transit extent is kind of important because if I leave it out completely, then you will see that um, I can actually translate uh, indefinitely. And uh, the same is uh, applied also for the scale extent, because if I leave that out, then I can also zoom like indefinitely. And uh, that is the reason why we uh, define those things so that uh, you don't get lost in this like uh, a zoom. Just remember that this transit extent is not actually related to the uh, like panning or dragging in this uh, zoomed in state. You don't need this transit extent to have this functionality. It is just for adding the like limit uh, to this entire uh, zoom behavior. So to recap, we started out with a simple line chart. We uh, defined our zoom behavior with the help of the zoom function from D3. We added a scale extent and a transit extent to like limit the possibilities uh, with this zoom behavior. Then we defined an on zoom handler to store the current zoom state we extracted from the SVG using the zoom transform function. And uh, then we applied this zoom behavior to our SVG. And later on, we grabbed the current uh, transformation or the current zoom state and altered our X scale to have this uh, like zoom in and zoom out effect. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you learned a thing or two about using like the zoom functionality with uh, React hooks and D3. And let me know if you want to see another example with like zoomable bar charts or uh, something like that. And a challenge for you guys would be to apply this zoom behavior to um, the brush or the brush chart I've shown you in another video. So if you feel kind of brave, you can try that out if you want. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.